So let's look at screen recording. Let's look at a couple recommended applications. And we really looked at this in the quick start guide, but I wanted to go in a little bit more detail. For our Windows viewers, we have Camtasia. Now Camtasia is a $300 software, and I do have free options, and I'll get to those here in just a second. Now Camtasia has every option you need and none you don't. You can get it from that URL right there, it's techsmith.com. Camtasia is built with screen recording in mind. And so what it has is it has the ability to zoom in and zoom out, highlight certain areas, add transitions, not only does it have screen recording in it so you can record the screen live, it also has basic editing functions. And what I mean by basic editing functions is, is you look at Final Cut Pro, which is a professional editing program on a Mac. It has way more than most people need. That's designed for creating commercials and for creating high quality video and creating you know, documentaries and movies and all that kind of stuff. And I've done that and I have Final Cut Pro. But whenever I do a screen recording, I'm on a Mac so I use ScreenFlow. But you don't need that and, and I don't need that even whenever I do screen recordings. So what Camtasia does, the developers of Camtasia have taken an editing program and they've taken a recording program and it's designed to record your screen it will also record your webcam your microphone your computer audio all that kind of stuff and then in the editing side they've taken all of the functions that you don't need for editing out they've dumped them and they have created new functions for editing designed for screen recording so what they've done is they they've taken that platform and created essentially a new type of editing program and ScreenFlow has done the same thing as well it's just for a Mac versus a PC but they've taken that and they've stripped it out and they've made it easy for a normal person a person who does not do video production as their business you know that's not what they're about they have more important better things to do they've taken a program and designed it around that so it does exactly what you need it to do for screen recording. You can also use Camtasia to edit other things like studio recording and we'll get to that later on in the in the training. So that's kind of what Camtasia has done and they've been very successful in it and we here at JJ Fast, that's a program that we use. It's on every single one of our computers. We use it on if not a daily, at least every other day. And the comparable option on the Mac is ScreenFlow. And ScreenFlow is Essentially the same thing as Camtasia, just different implementation. And Camtasia does have a Mac version, but it's not nearly as good. It's what we call a ported program. And so what that means is they have just taken all the stuff on Camtasia and written it so that it works on, on Mac's infrastructure. And I won't get too technical there, but ScreenFlow on a Mac is written with a Mac and in mind versus the Camtasia on a Mac which is actually written with Windows in mind just ported over to Mac. Now ScreenFlow is a little bit cheaper of an option it's a $99 option it's the best option for Mac users what it does is it records in a Mac friendly format and it gives you super super high quality and it keeps it stable and easy to use so it's just like Camtasia they've taken all the stuff out of Final Cut Pro that you don't need and they've created a new option that is designed for screen recording in mind and you can get ScreenFlow from telestream.net forward slash ScreenFlow especially if you're starting out I don't recommend you go out and you purchase these expensive programs I mean it can be $300 or $100. Well, for most people who, you know, as Jay says, are weekend warriors, you don't have an extra $300 to drop on a program if it hasn't proven that it's integral to your business. I think it will be integral to your business, but it's not quite there yet. And so I've thrown together a few free recommended applications that'll do just about the same thing. They just have a few more disadvantages. You know, for example, like on Windows, you have Active Presenter. Now, Active Presenter is free. It's not quite as powerful as Camtasia, and it's a little bit buggier. Sometimes I have issues with Active Presenter crashing or whatever else. I always recommend you save as much as possible, especially if you're working on a large project. An Active Presenter doesn't work very well on very long recordings. So if you're, for example, trying to record a webinar, I don't recommend using Active Presenter because it 
it uses a lot of resources to do what it does. It doesn't handle bugs very well, so it kind of crashes a little bit more. But it is a free program, so it so it's kind of hard to complain about a free program. And you can get that from atanasystems.com forward slash active presenter. Now on the Mac, you have two options that are built in and they ship on every Mac. So you have QuickTime and iMovie. The disadvantage here is it's actually two separate programs and they're not really designed to do what we do with them. Now QuickTime does have a screen recording option so it can record your entire screen or a portion of your screen and then iMovie is kind of like the dumbed down version of Final Cut Pro. So it is a full featured editing platform. So it's not going to have the call outs and the things like that that we'll kind of get to whenever we look at screen flow. But it's going to have most of the options that you need, especially, you know, just cutting a video and then exporting it out. It is free. If you've made the investment on a Mac, it comes shipped on that Mac. It's very simple. It's easy to use. Your only disadvantage, like I said, is you record in QuickTime and then you edit on iMovie. So you kind of have to export it. And, and QuickTime records in a very high quality video, which is good. But with the screen recording video, you don't really need a 60 frame per second video because that's not really what it is. You'll notice that, for example, the slide here hasn't changed for a while. So I don't need 60 frames per second. I don't want to get too technical here, but 60 frames per second is the standard for HD video. What it means is it actually is 60 still images turned into a movie. And so you have 30 frames per second, which is considered SD, standard definition, and then you have 60 frames per second, which is HD. And so what ScreenFlow and Camtasia will do is they will vary that frames per second to adjust and give you a smaller file whenever it doesn't need it. So for example, your keynote presentation right here, I don't have anything moving. So you really don't need the high frames per second. So sorry about getting too technical there. I don't want to bog us down with too many details, but I think it's important to know the difference. As far as screen recording goes, there are a lot of different ideas that you can do. And we've kind of touched on these before, but effective presentation ideas for a screen recording, you have a product demo. So you can show you know, your new product, your WordPress plugin, or your Facebook plugin, or whatever it may be. You can also use PowerPoint and Keynote. This is probably the easiest and the fastest to get up and running right next to a mind map. And if you don't know what a mind map is, we'll kind of talk about that later on in the training. But it's a visual representation of a thought or a subject or an idea. And then you have a website walkthrough. So you can look at pros and cons of a website, you know, maybe website design or whatever else. 